Hello, and welcome to Bulldog TV News, an affiliate of the USA News Network. I'm Cameron Haley Matthews. And I'm Carl Hughes. Here's what we have for you today. President-elect Donald Trump says he will nominate retired General James Mattis to be his defense secretary. Mattis, at the age of 66, is a Marine Corps general who retired in 2013 after serving as the commander of the U.S. Central Command. Trump made the announcement Thursday night at a post-election victory rally in Cincinnati. Mattis' election raises questions about increased military influence and a job designed to ensure civilian control of the armed forces. The concerns revolve around whether a recently retired service member would rely more on military solutions to international problems rather than take a broader, more diplomatic approach. For Mattis to be confirmed, Congress would first have to approve legislation bypassing a law that bars retired military officers from becoming defense secretary within seven years of leaving active duty. Michigan's election board on Friday will consider President-elect Donald Trump request to block a hand recount of all 4.8 million ballots, casting the state one by about 10,700 votes over Hillary Clinton. Lawyers for Trump's campaign argued Thursday the Green Party nominee Jill Stein, a bottom-dwelling candidate, cannot seek the expensive time-consuming recount because she was not ag ag aggrieved to the point where potential miscounting of votes could have cost her the election. She got, garnered just 1% in Michigan's Wisconsin, began its own recount Thursday in Pennsylvania. A hearing was scheduled for Monday on Stein's push for to secure a count ordered. Statewide recount, a legal maneuver that has never been tried, according to one of the attorneys who filed it. The Republican-led House is pushing ahead with a $611 billion defense policy bill that prohibits closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, forbids the Pentagon from trimming the number of military bases, and awards U.S. troops their target pay raise, their largest pay raise in six years. Lawmakers are scheduled to vote Friday on the legislation, which authorizes military spending for the fiscal year that started October 1st. The defense bill also includes an agreement that prevents the Defense Department from forcing thousands of California National Guard troops to repay enlistment bonuses and benefits they received a decade after they signed up to serve in Iraq and Afghanistan. France President Francois Hollande announced in a surprise televised address Thursday that he will not seek a second term in next year's presidential election. The 62-year-old president, the county's least popular leader since World War II, said he was conscious of the risk his lack of support posed to a successful candidacy. The announcement came just a few days after Prime Minister Manuel Vail said he was ready to compete in the next month's socialist primary. Tennessee towns are continuing their recovery process Friday after scorching wildfires roared through eastern parts of the state this week near the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, leaving at least 11 people dead and many more residents displaced. U.S. Senators Bob Corker and Lamar Alexander plan to tour the affected areas Friday as long as officials discuss possible reopening the town of Gatlinburg, the area hit hardest. About 200 firefighters were still on the ground Thursday working to quell the flames after a 24-hour rain downpour aided their efforts. Last year, a shooting rampage in San Bernardino, Bernardino California left 14 people dead and 22 more injured. <clears throat> During a holiday party at a center, for people with development disabilities. One year later, authorities still have information about the motive behind the attack. From Saeed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik, though authorities believe the couple was radicalized by Islamic State, investigators don't know exactly why the couple committed the attack at the Island Regional Center of December 22nd. Howard Schultz who helped turn Starbucks into an iconic global brand, as well known for its activism as its coffee blends, will step down from the role of CEO in April. Schultz will become the company's executive chairman, con concentrating on ramping up Starbucks reserve rosteries, a new premium experience, as well as the company's well-known forays into community activism. Kevin Johnson, the company's current president and COO, will become the CEO, retaining the title of president. Set to repeat atop the weekend box office is Disney's Mona, followed once again the WB Fantastic Beasts, where to find them. The weekend's features Nate one new wide release in B.H. Pills Incarnate, offering horror fans a little something as a lone horror film currently in wide release. 
while freestyle issues a moderate release of the faith-based feature Believe and limited release Fox Searchlight will premiere the Venice and Toronto Film Festival hit Jackie starring, starring Natalie Portman as Jackie Kennedy. Before the Rolling Stones were rock icons, they were a blues cover band. Their name comes from the Muddy Water song Rolling Stone. But with the group's first studio album in 11 years, Blue and Lonesome, the blues isn't just a subtext in their songs. Instead of offering up original music, which they still promise to be working on, Mick Jagger and co. blast through 12 blues songs and the likes of Waters, Willie Dixon, and other artists whose songs the band cut their teeth on more than 50 years ago. The, the album is available today. FX announced yesterday they've given to green light to Kurt Stutter to move forward with his drama series Pilot Mayans MC for seven seasons. Stutter's award-winning Sons of Anarchy was the highest rated ongoing drama series in FX history. And this return to the world isn't unprecedented. The Mayans were recurring and pivotal players in Sons of Anarchy. Throughout the show's seven years run, production is scheduled to begin in March. The Dallas Cowboys survived a tough defensive attack from the Minnesota Vikings, outlasting a last-minute effort to win the featured Thursday night football matchup 17-15. The road to the Cowboys' 11th straight win was not easy, though as breakout rookie sensations Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott and the rest of the Big D offense were held to season lows on yards, points, first downs, and third down conversions. Despite a go-ahead touchdown pass from Prescott and Des Bryant, the Vikings managed to mount a last-minute touchdown drive but came up short on the potentially game-tying two-point conversion. The Vikings were without head coach Mike Zimmer, who was recovering from emergency eye surgery on Wednesday night. In a game this, that saw a combined 212 shot attempts, including 88 three-point attempts, the Houston Rockets eventually came out on top of the Golden State Warriors, 132-127 to 127 in a double overtime marathon. James Harden knocked out a 29-point, 15-point rebound, 13 assists, triple-double his fourth of the season, with teammates Ryan Anderson contributing another 29 points of individual effort the Warriors splash brothers of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson never quite, fought, quite caught fire. Combining for seven of 26 trades, Kevin Durant led all scores with 39 big points and 13 rebounds despite the team's losing effort. The loss dropped the Warriors' record to 16-3, but remains the best record in the league so far, so far this season. The Hornets stung the Mavs 97-87, the Bucks down the Nets 111-93. Marc Gasol, 70-25 points, led the Grizzlies over the Magic 95-94. J.J. Redick scored 23 points as the Clippers routed the Cavs 113-94, and the Heat edged over the Jazz 111-110. Wigner Valdemir Terensko, Terenska uh, blasted three big goals to power the St. Louis Blues over the Tampa Bay Lightning, Lightning to 5-4. to four. Terencenko got the puck moving early, scoring his first goal just 1 minute 39 seconds into the first period. Followed by his second score just 8 minutes later, Kevin Shatterkirk had a big night for the Blues as well, scoring two goals of his own as well as two assists. With the puck flying into Tampa's goal, keeper Andre Velasquez was yanked early in the second period after allowing four goals in favor of Ben Bishop, who hold out allowed just one goal on, on 10 shots. The Bruins bump off the Hurricanes in a 2-1 to one shootout. Jack Etchell notches two goals to stick the Sabres 4-3 to three over the Rangers. Sidney Crosby leads a host of Penguins to a 6-2 route of the Stars. The Islanders shut out the Capitals 3-zip helped by 38 saves from Jaroslav Halak. Claude, Gro <laughs> Claude Zeru scored the overtime winner as the Flyers overtook the Senators 3-2. The Panthers scratched out a 2-1 overtime win over the Red Wings. Two different Oilers each scored twice, bumping the Oilers over the Jets 6-3. Longtime veteran Marion Hossa slapped in the overtime winner for the Blackhawks 4-3 victory over the New Jersey Devils. The Blue Jackets avoid the Avalanche 3-2. to 
Jordan Nolan scored, scored a pair of goals as the Kings caught the Coyotes 4-3, to three, and the Ducks dunked the Canucks 3-1. to one. That's all we have for you today. I'm Cameron Ailey Matthews. And I'm Carl Hughes. Join us again tomorrow for the Daily News, Bulldog TV News, and an affiliate of the USA News Network. We'll see you next time.